you guys welcome back to another video so last weekend we went to portland with a couple of our best friends to see tyler the creator and vince staples and we had a blast so i just thought i'd bring you guys along with me and show you everything that i ate while we were in portland because their food is amazing their vegan food blows my mind so these are some of our road trip snackies those pepperoncini chips are the best same with these jalapeno lime chips they're kind of like cool ranch doritos then we all got some sandwiches from the good old Boise Co-op, kind of like a just a loaded veggie sandwich on their village loaf with some vegan cheese and vegan mayo and all that stuff. And then I also got red vines because I love red vines and they're a really good road trip snack. And these are really good too, like salted pumpkin seeds if you're looking for something like kind of healthier and munchy. So the first night we got there, it was like a little bit late. So we went to this bar called the Buy and Buy on Alberta Street. All vegan, totally delicious. We love it. It's like the first vegan restaurant we ever went to in Portland. So I got the Chipotle bowl. I think Casey and I split this. It was like red beans, greens, brown rice, Chipotle ranch, really good. And our friends got the chili pie, which is like Fritos, vegan meat, vegan cheese, beans, delicious sauce, hot sauce really good and then we shared some pretzel knots with some like vegan cashew cheese and some ma mustard too i think it was it was good and then to go we got this lemon poppy seed cake from the buy and buy which was out of control amazing like so good so moist and delicious and i we got another piece the next time we went because it was so good <laughs> so we had that along with some like chocolate toffee cheesecake that we got two, which was good. It wasn't too like heavy and dense. It was more of like a lighter. See, you can see it's kind of like a lighter textured cheesecake, but it was really good. Nice way to end our night at our little Airbnb with some like dessert. It was nice. And this is the next day. This is Saturday. This is the day of the show. So we woke up and decided we wanted some brunch. So walked down Alberta Street again uh, to Vita Cafe which is not totally vegan, but they have vegan options. So quite a few vegan options and got a Bloody Mary and some coffee and some French toast and biscuits and gravy to share. And then I totally forgot to film what we got for breakfast. So this is the remnants, the like sloppy biscuit sandwich that Casey and Andy got and this like jalapeno corn cake dish with tofu. And I got some sort of scramble. It was pretty good, not my favorite, but. And then we went to buy and buy again before the show for dinner and I got the Eastern bowl, which had like nutritional yeast tofu and brown rice and broccoli and avocado and like a spicy ginger peanut sauce. So good. And I think Bronwyn and Casey got the um, Reuben. It was so good. And some Brussels sprouts to go with. Casey got Brussels sprouts. We all got some beers to turn up for the show. It was really fun. We love the buy and buy. All right, so this is the next day. This is Sunday after the show, and we went to brunch at this place called No Bones Beach Club. I think it's pretty new, maybe not, but it's really good. They have amazing food, all vegan, mind-blowing, cute little atmosphere. They were playing really good music, like Ratatat and LCD sound system and stuff. So we stacked up on the food here, and it was good. I got a Bloody Mary again. I don't know why I even get Bloody Marys. I don't even really like them, but this one had tempeh bacon, so it was actually, that was like my favorite part. But pretty good Bloody Mary, a little watery for my taste. And then we got some French press coffee, which was really good. They had like a really good coconut creamer, bomb coffee. And some gluten-free and vegan, clearly like buffalo wings. Casey got this like big kahuna breakfast sandwich. Amazing, mind-blowing, one of my favorite things. And Andy got this like brunch bowl, brunch bowl, ocean side brunch bowl. I didn't try it, but it looks amazing. And then Bronwyn and I both got the same thing, the Crab Cakes Benedict, because how can you not get that? It was so good. That hollandaise sauce was like one of the best things I've ever eaten. I don't know what the crab cakes were. They weren't my absolute favorite part of the whole thing, but it was good. And then some like fried banana balls for dessert with ice cream and coffee and whipped cream. So good, you guys. Like, so good. And that's all we ate in Portland. But then on the way home, we stopped in Pendleton because we were hungry and had pizza at this place called Abby's Legendary Pizza. And the lady was really nice. And she told us that the gluten-free crust is vegan. So we got that loaded up with some veggies and it was amazing. So that's it. That's all we ate. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll just catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.